Welcome to Trojan Football 1991, and tonight the Trojans play host to arch rival the Williams Valley Vikings in the big game here for the Trojans and the Vikes. As they're both coming off a loss last weekend, the Trojans getting blistered over at Tri Valley by a score of 33 to 13. Trojans not showing a whole lot of offense in that ball game. And uh, by the same token, the Williams Valley Vikings playing at Lion Mountain last week looked very inept on the offense also getting shut out by the Eagles 12 or 12 nothing over at Lion Mountain so both two hungry ball clubs here this evening for what should be one heck of a good classic Williams Valley Upper Dauphin matchup so we're about ready for the uh, meeting of the captains out in the middle of the field the Trojan marching band just put on a fine performance and we will see the Williams Valley marching band, the Viking Pride marching band at halftime this after or this evening. In the meantime, the uh, co-captains are being selected and will meet out at the middle field for tonight's opening toss of the coin. Trojans surely look ready. I know uh, Coach Hain had a few uh, choice words for the ball club last week when he thought they did not play nearly up to what they could, up to their expectations and up to their abilities. And so tonight they'll try to remedy that situation as they take on these vicious Vikings of Williams Valley. The Vikings, on the other hand, of course, I'm sure, feel exactly the same way as they have uh, been in up last week against the Eagles, and they'll come out here trying to beat up on our Trojans here this evening. So we should have a Super Bowl game. It'll be Rich Kerwin along with uh, Denny Lanker as co-captains for the Trojans tonight. The co-captains for the Vikings will be number four, Jim McNeil, the quarterback. And the other young man is hidden behind the referee right at the moment. Uh, at any rate, they're discussing the toss of the coin, and uh, it'll be coming up here in just a moment. A very, very beautiful evening for tonight's football game. Just a lovely evening. No wind to speak of. Temperature probably around 70 degrees at the uh, start of the ball game. And uh, the field in pretty good condition. A lot of bare spots on it due to the lack of rain uh, during the summertime. But otherwise, uh, you know, looks pretty good. Here is the toss of the coin coming up as the official shows him the uh, shows everybody the coin that they'll use. The call has been made and it looks as though well, they're talking to the Trojans now, but that may not mean much right at the moment. We'll see. Number 66, Greg Cassidy. Trojans, of course, this year without uh, such superstars such as. Uh, Todd Ayers last year, who was a super performer for the Trojans, along with Jeff Lentz. Trojans have won the toss and elected to receive, incidentally. Uh, number 27 out there is uh, Justin Miller. And Justin is a uh, fullback for the Vikings. So the Trojans will get the ball to open up tonight's ball game and will be set to go with the opening kickoff in just one moment. Trojans will have quarterback Sean Herb. He's a uh, junior this year. Sean will begin his second game at quarterback for the UDA Trojans. Number 27 Justin Miller will be doing the kickoff for the Vikes. He's teeing it up at the 40-yard line. The Trojans have yet to break the team huddle and they do now. And uh, we're getting set. I know the boys are tense for this one. There you could see the tension, I believe, on the ball club last week. Uh, a lot of uh, first-time varsity ball players getting in their Thanks first the varsity football game. And I think some of that tension may have showed up Lenker. last week over at Tri-Valley. But they've got one ball game under their belt now, both teams. And I believe we're going to see a totally different club out here this, or this evening. Okay. Justin Miller is about set to kick off, and the 1991 Classic here is about to get underway as uh, Danny Wirtz takes his position on the field. Dan was going to be a sleeper along the sidelines, I guess. <laughs> going to sneak on later. At any rate, the Trojans now have 11 men. They have uh, Lanker and Kiter back deep to receive this kick. And we are ready to rumble here in UDA. Good crowd on hand, I might add, also. Stadium seats are filled. The uh, ring around the side, uh, around the field, getting 
pretty much uh, filled up on both end zones and along the and side. So go. good crowd to witness tonight's activities. Here's the kick. Miller's kick's going to be taken at the 20-yard line. Yard line. This is Bobby Kider. Works his way back upfield here to the 32, where he'll be stopped by a host of uh, Vikings. And it'll be first and 10 for the Trojans at the Upper Dolphin 32. Herb will be working back there with uh, several Trojans. Mike Mari will be the fullback. Bobby Kider and Denny Lanker. And Sean Herb is the quarterback. So Lanker in there with, uh, well, let's see. We've got another fellow coming on now. This is uh, 52 for the Trojans. And that's, uh, <clears throat> at any rate, <laughs> catch him in a minute here. Okay, first and 10. First play of from the series goes to Lanker. Lanker's got about a yard or two. Spins ahead, maybe to the 33 or 4. We'll see where they spot it. That's a 34, a gain of 2. It'll be second down and 8. As we go along tonight, uh, we will pick up some of these young ball players' no, uh, names. Second down and 8 for the Trojans from their own 34. Pass, first one, dumps it over here for Lanker. Lanker's got it, it's got about three or four yards as he spins to the 40 yard line. Gain of about four more, maybe six on the play, something like that. It'll bring up a third down and two. Ball out the 40 yard line. So the Trojans complete on their first pass from uh, Herb to Lanker. Game of six, third and two. Center in there is uh, Cassidy. Greg Cassidy center for the Trojans this year. On a third and two. Lanker's got it, and the... Uh, Ken Shadle makes a big stop for the Vikings with Rob Huffman helping on the tackle. Loss of a yard on the play will bring up a fourth and three. Jeff Kotoweski checking out of the ball game for UDA now on this fourth down and three situation. Also, uh, Mike Mowry coming out of the ball game. Kicker for the Trojans is, uh, let's see. Williams Valley along with number 21, Matt Brown. Not sure at this point. Anyway, he gets an excellent snap. And a nice high spiraling kick. And Zelensky's kick will be ruled dead at the 43 yard line. So an excellent, uh, excellent field position for the Vikings on their own 43. First and 10. Jim McNeil, the quarterback for the Vikings. McNeil last week uh, threw a lot of passes over at uh, Lion Mountain. We'll see how they well, play it this year, four, or this game. <clears throat> in motion, coming over this way, is the man with the ball, and that's uh, number 21, Matt Brown. And Matt Brown is grabbed out there by number 40, Matt Stoneroad making the initial hit on him. Mike Mowry also making the stop. The Trojan defense looks fired up now. Stoneroad grabbed him by the jersey and slowed him down, and Mike Mowry finished him off. Loss of about uh, two. It'll be second and 12. Ball now back at the 41. Mr. Klinger is off by about seven, five yards here on his announcements on the PA system. McNeil, pass over to the far side. It is complete to Brown, and Brown is tackled almost immediately as uh, Kiter comes up there and grabs him. Bobby with a good stop after a gain of about two back to the original yard of scrimmage, or line of scrimmage. So it'll bring up a third down and 10. Rich Kerwin in on the stop also for UDA, says Mr. K. Miller checks back into the ball game now for the Vikings. We're playing in the first quarter. We've played uh, three minutes and 35 seconds. No score, of course. Here's a uh, big fourth and 10. McNeil looking, firing one over this way. It is complete. McNeil Coming up to make complete. the stop, Robbie Shell dumps him at the 50-yard line. The It'll be short of the first down, and the Vikings will be forced to punt the ball away now as they'll bring up a fourth down and about three or four. Fourth and three. 
Maury coming up to help with the stop on the play, but Robbie Shell making the initial hit that time for the Trojans, so the Vikings will be forced to punt. And back goes um, the speedster this time, Kiter, and uh, the real speed demon over there is Eric Troop. Here's a punt. Eric Troop's going to get the punt at the 22. Eric spins to the 23 or so as he was tripped up a little bit. And Eric keeps the ball, however, and runs it back to the 30 or the 27-yard line, I guess we'll make it. Let's see. No, make it the 24. Okay, at the 24. About a three-yard return by the Trooper that time. Trojans putting uh, Brian or uh, Troop in there, Eric, for speed because boy, he can fly if he gets loose. He's a speedster. Okay, the second series for UDA starts at the 24. Handoff this time and going up the middle for a couple is. Uh, Denny Lanker, Lanker again, and Denny's got four. about uh, Ryan five out to the 29-yard line. It'll be Bob second down and five. Good gain that tackle. time on the quick hitter by Denny. Lanker. And here we go again as they flank uh, uh, Jeff Miller out on the far side of the field for UDA. Hand in tight on the near side. Second man's got the ball. This is uh, Richie Kerwin. Richie Kerwin. Richie's got a yard or two across the 30 to the 31 yard line. Picked up two. It'll bring up a third down and a long two. Maybe it'll pick up third and three. Let's make it. Ball at the 31. <clears throat> See what we can do. This is going to be big. The Trojans at Nor Vikings have had a first down yet. See if the Trojans get one here. It's a pass play. Passing. Down over there. It is complete by Matt Stone Road. Man, did Matt pick it out of the hands of a couple of Vikings that time. A nice catch. I think Stone Road is pumped up tonight. Yeah, I think he's pumped. All right. Matt with a real nice catch that time in among about two or three Viking defenders. Picked it off and got the first down. First and 10 right inside the 40. Call it the 41. Just barely inside the 40-yard line. First and 10. First first down for either club. Handoff going up the middle is uh, Lanker. Lanker's got six as he gets to the 46-yard line. Nice gain that time by Denny, and uh, he gets six. It'll be second down and four. Nice play. Andy Miller will check into the ball game. Jeff Miller will check out. No relation that I know of, but a couple of Millers. Lots of them around the valley. Anyway, uh, on a uh, second down and four from the 46. Uh-oh, this time Maury nothing doing as Maury is hit at the line of scrimmage for no gain. That time in the backfield, it just got uh, play developed just a little too slowly and allowed uh, number 60 to come up and get the stop. Chris Stown making the stop for the Vikings. Not much of a chance that time for Mike as uh, Stown was in there almost with the snap. Well, to bring up a uh, third and five now. Another big third down play for the Trojans. Five. Will Herb pass? Well, he looks like he will. He's getting a big rush, but now he's got some running room. Let's see. Herb can he get the first down? He sure can. He's got the first down as he dives to the 48-yard line. Sure looks like a first down from here. Ref giving it the old evil eye over here. Let's see what they're going to rule it. They're going to maybe. Yep, first down. Okay. Nice play again there for the Trojans. Their second consecutive first down, and they've got a little march going here. Started on their own 24-yard line. They moved it now to the Viking 48, where it will be first and 10. Handoff this time going up the middle for a couple is uh, the fullback, I believe, in there. Let's see. Looked like it was, uh, yeah, Dan, uh, Kerwin. Richie Kerwin, Richie Kerwin gets a couple of yards. Picked up uh, three. Be second and seven. Ball now at the 46 yard down. <clears throat> Ball on the 46 of the Vikings. 413 remaining here in the first quarter. Trojans on the first drive. Second and eight. Handoff and trying the left side of that uh, line. 
is Mari. He picks up a pair to the 30, or make, check that, make it the 44 yard line. Tim Savage and Timmy Savage, number 73 for the Vikings, coming in there to make the stop. Big Tim, 73. 44 yard line. Actually about third and six. Third down and six now for UDA. Big third down play coming up again here for the Trojans. And a pass. This time he's going to fade over to his left. Passes one downfield. He's got a man out there. It's off the fingertips this time of Stone Road. And he had some coverage back there with him. Someone else may have interfered with Matt. Otherwise, I think it hit Matt or something out there. So that time the pass failed, and the Trojans will have to kick the ball away. They'll be punting it from about their own 45-yard line. Matt Zalera. Zelinski will be punting for UDA. See if he gets a good snap. Oh, yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Through his legs it goes. Zelinski picks the ball up, and the Vikings pick him up. Ball still loose and now recovered. Let's see. No, they're going to rule it back here. Official is ruling it up here. So Williams Valley did not recover the fumble. The referee ruled that it was down back here at the 29-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Vikings, however, on now the Trojan 29-yard line. So three yard line tremendous the uh, and Williams Valley will have excellent field, position. field position now for the Vikes. With three fourteen at the 29. McNeil sets him up. He's going to pass, looking down the right side. He's got a man open over there, and he's got the football inside the 20 to the 19. Bobby Kiter making the defensive play on him. But uh, no, makes the catch at the 29. Okay, we have enough. Scott Null with the reception that time for the Vikings. It's close enough for a measurement from here. Looks as though he may have it. We'll see. It'll be very close. Ooh, boy. I'll tell you, that is close. It's going to be an inch and a half away. Someone underinflated the football. <laughs> At any rate, it will be second down and about the width of the stripe on the football for a first down. Eh, it's not even that far. Second down, anyway, very short. Short is right. Well, the Trojans are going to have to dig in now following that uh, miscue there on the punt attempt. And we'll see what they can do with it. The Vikings with their first golden opportunity. McNeil hands it off. Miller has it. He goes up the middle for a yard or so. And that's enough, of course, for the first down as he drove the ball to the 17-yard line, it'll be first and 10 for the Vikes on the Trojan 17. How very, very important is that first score of the ball game in any ball game, but in particular in this ball game. So Trojan defense now, see if we can't uh, hold them out here. Kreiser and Stone Road trying the, uh, or making the tackle that time for the Vikings, or for the Trojans, rather. Mr. Miller the last carry. Here comes... McNeil looking. Can we pick this one off? No. In fact, McNeil it is complete, complete to 42, and he's still on his feet, but he gets knocked out of bounds at about the Matt 10. Brennan, the Brennan with a good reception that time for the Vikings as he had a couple of ball players out there with him defending and uh, you know, caught the ball and made a couple of extra yards with a good struggle. Kerwin and Herb to stop for the Trojans, but... Uh, and Sean Herb, Sean Herb and Kreiser, not Richie Second Kerwin. Rich would have loved to have gotten Vikings credit for that, but <laughs> nothing doing. He's on the other side of the ball, the other side of the field. Okay, Jim McNeil, or McNeil sets him up. Handed off to Brown. Boy, is he stopped immediately, or Miller rather, Justin Miller. Gets maybe one yard, nothing more than that. And it'll bring up a third down Lowry and a long Stone one. Kotoweski, Stone Lowry. Road, Lowry. Right bunch of the Trojan, Trojan defensive, defensive line in there helping to make that stop. Third It'll be a yard. The ball third and one. The Trojan eight yard line. This will be a big two plays here for UDA, hoping they 
can get the stop here. We'll see. Up the middle he goes for the first down, drives it down to the five. It'll be first and goal for the Vikings as Justin Miller carries it to the five. And so it'll be first and goal from the five. Actually about the five and a half, something like that, a little bit short of the five. But first and goal now for the Vikes, so the Trojan defense has really got to dig in. It'll be first and goal for the Vikings. In that line in there is... Uh, Dan Kerwin, the center of that Trojan defensive line. Here's McNeil on a first and goal from about the six. McNeil's going to keep it. Scramble around the right side and Gwynn for the touchdown, I believe. Yeah, Jim McNeil keeps it, goes around the right side and gets the uh, Vikings' first six points of the ball game. Though the Vikings capitalized uh, on the Trojan the mistake, picked up the ball at the 24-yard line, side. and in a Lightning. series of uh, about Touchdown. three or four Touchdown. plays, Touchdown. something like that, they've With scored. 54, 54 seconds four. remaining here in period number one, and on our brand-new scoreboard, the Vikings lead 6-0. Justin Miller will attempt, Justin Miller the, point will attempt the point after now as he'll kick the ball out of the hold of uh, number Bowling 72 number in there. 72, Matt, Matt, Welker. Matt Welker will be the holder. Good snap, placement's down, kick is up, the kick is, is good. good. And so and the Vikings lead 7-0 here, here in the first, first quarter. quarter. 54 seconds remaining, 7-0 is the score. The Vikings break out on top. Good crowd, as I said, nice crowd here at the ballpark. They're standing all over the place. Some people still paying to get in. Uh, but the top of the... Uh, Hill here to the south of the ball field. And uh, Vikings will kick off once again now as uh, Miller will kick off for Williams Valley. So the Vikings have ended their scoring drought, scoring tonight for the first time. It's 7 0. Backer Kyder and Lenker. Here's the kick, going to bounce around over here, and Kyder will take it out of bounds at the 20. As Kyder grabbed the ball. Kyder grabbed the ball and uh, went out of bounds on his own. Anyway, it'll be first and 10. UDA on their own 20. First and 10 Trojans from the 20. Back to pass goes Herb. He's looking, getting a big rush, gets away from one man. Now he's going to have to tuck it away and Herb run it. And Herb gets, gets to the, the 25, 25 gain of about five on the play. Jeff could not, or uh, rather, uh, Sean could not find anyone to throw it to. Jeff Miller was way downfield here. But Sean could not find him and uh, picked up four, actually. Second and six from the 26. Motion goes Lanker. Quarterback still has it. Pitches it back to Denny Lanker. Denny cuts it up field. And Denny out to the 30, near a first down anyway. And let's see where they spotted it. It looks like it would be a first down. Awfully close. They may even have to measure this. No, the ref says it is a first down. So it's first and 10 for the Trojans. And it looks like that's the end of the first quarter. And that ended the first quarter. Okay, so the quarter ended with the... Vikings ahead, 7-0. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. Okay, first and 10 for UDA as we begin uh, quarter number two. The handoff and try to go up the middle with it was, uh, let's see, number 33, Maury, I believe it was. Yeah, Mike Maury, and Maury got nothing on that one. It'll be second down and 10. Stuffs him at the line of scrimmage, second down and 10. Second and 10 from uh, the Trojans. Here, oh, here goes, uh, let's see. Kyder, reverses Kyder, Kyder reverses field, bumps there. ahead to the 35-yard line. Play. Nice play that time by uh, Bobby Kyder. 
He saw when to cut Ryan it upfield and uh, did it right on cue. Got himself uh, about five, four be maybe four. Six. Yeah, I guess it would be four. It would be about third and six. Not quite as much as I thought he had gained. Third down and six. Pass play coming up maybe for the Trojans. Let's see. Yep, going to drop straight back. Got a little protection. Passes one down the middle. Incomplete. Intended out here for number 84, Matt Zielinski. And Matt just could not stretch out and grab that one. And so it'll bring up a fourth down now as the Trojans again unable to do much on the offense. And uh, they'll have to give the ball back to the Vikings. Zelensky, who has punted pretty well tonight, is standing back at his 23-yard uh, line. He'll step up to about the 26 to get it away. He did. Nice kick. Going to be given, uh, picked up by Miller. And he'll go up the sideline. I don't think this is Miller. I think this is more like Brown, but let's see. Yeah, it was Brown. 21, Brown, I think it was. Ran it back, and Thor Keck makes the stop on him. Bumps him out of bounds at the 49-yard line. So good field position for the Vikings once again here. Right at the Viking 49-yard line. <clears throat> Trojans got to dig in defensively and start to mix it up offensively out there. Let's see what they can do. They can stop these guys now. We don't want the Vikes to score again here. Hand off up the uh, left side. There goes uh, Miller. And a nice run that time by Justin as he picked up nearly the first down, or perhaps he got it. It's going to be awfully close. And they're going to measure this one as Justin Miller Got just about 10 on that gallop over that uh, left tackle spot. He opened it up real quickly and uh, really come up there and got a lot of yardage out of that one. And we'll see. First down. It will be a Williams Valley first down, I believe. No, not quite. I can't believe that. Look where the official has his finger. It's going to be second down and... Uh, about the stripe on the ball. Second and a hair. Second and a hair, says uh, Steve Klinger. Well, you know what they say, hair today, going tomorrow. We'll see if they can push this one over. I believe they have an excellent opportunity with a second down and about an inch and a half. Get in tight here, see if McNeil likes to sneak it. Yeah, he did, but oh, the uh, tackle over there on the far side. We had a shot at him in the backfield, but Kreiser and uh, Robbie Shell had to bring him down out there. A little help perhaps from Greg Cassidy, but uh, it'll be a first down as he gained a yard or so. Down to the 39-yard line, or 38-yard line. First and 10 for the Vikes on the Trojan 38. <clears throat> McNeil's going to pass it. He's looking down the side over here, and he's got a man open. The man's got it. He's going to race down the side, and 83's got it. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. There are no flags on the field. A touchdown from the 38-yard line. And so the uh, Vikings strike quickly score. again here now. It's now a 13-0 ball game. 38-yard uh, pass play from McNeil, McNeil to, to Null. Making the score Williams and Valley Williams Valley now NBA starting NBA. to uh, show a little offense for sure. Extra point try coming up here as uh, Justin Miller will attempt to kick it. He's got the placement down. The kick is up, and the kick is no good this time as it goes wide to the near side of the field, I believe. But at any rate, the Vikings showing a lot of life here now have got a 13-point margin on the Trojans with 9.52 remaining here in the first half. Oh. Trojans have really got to knuckle down.
Kiter and Lanker back to receive the kick. Lanker is the near man. Kiter the man on the far side of the field for the Trojans. And Miller tees it up, and he's ready to kick it off for the third time tonight. Here's this kick. Low kick, going to hit up here, and let's see. It's going to be allowed to go out of bounds, and the five-yard penalty will be called because of the out-of-bounds kick. The ball goes out at about the 28-yard line, so I believe the Trojans may take a re-kick and penalize them five. I would think they would. And they're going to talk it over with one of the Trojan captains out there. Let's see who they'll talk to, Denny Lenker. Then he says, do it again. I want to run this one back all the way and get some points on the board for the Trojans. So they're going to do it again. And they're going to take this the time, um, Miller's kick will come the from the 35-yard line. Justin will tee it up at his own 35. The legal procedure is the official call by the official official out there. Miller will now kick and they'll it from his own 35-yard <clears throat> line. Trojans need to get a good Lanker run back here now and Lanker. try to get a little bit of excitement, offensive excitement, into the ball game. This team is a lot better than they've shown so far, I'm sure of that. Here we go. Kick. This time it's a better kick. Matter of fact, going to send uh, the man back to about the 15, the 20, 25. And he's still on his feet. The ball comes loose in there. Let's see who's got it. It looks like William, or Upper Dauphin has recovered it. Okay, thank goodness for that because the fumble was only out at the 31-yard line. And uh, it's going to be a first and 10 for Williams Valley, or for Upper Dauphin, on their own 31-yard line. Okay, first and 10 for the Trojans, trailing 13-0. Nine and a half minutes remaining in the first half. All kinds of time to get something going here. Up the middle, but tripping up right at the line of scrimmage Mike is Mike Mowry. No, it wasn't. Kreiser. Jared Kreiser with the run that time up the middle, and Kreiser gains oh, about two. It'll be second down and eight. Jared kind of got tripped up at the line of scrimmage and uh, slid forward for a yard or so. Second down and a long eight. Andy Miller, the near side flanker for UDA. In the backfield for the Trojans are Kreiser. And Richie Kerwin. Kerwin goes in motion over on the far side of the field. Back to pass. Firing over there for Kerwin. Rich has got it. And immediately uh, someone's got him. 72 comes up and makes the stop for the Vikings. After Rich caught the pass. Gained uh, about three on the play. It'll bring up a third down and uh, five. Which uh, Mr. Klinger says Matt Wilker made the stop, so it was a good stop for Matt. Third and five. <clears throat> Sean Herb setting him up at the 36. He's going back to pass. Gets some good blocking this time, or is it going to be a run? Yep, he's going to tuck it away. Sean runs ahead here now to the 44-yard line. That'll be a first down for the Trojans as he gains about nine on the play. So Sean, not afraid to tuck it and run, and he did that time as he scrambled around this left side, and I didn't know whether it was supposed to be a pass play or what, but Sean tucked it away and got himself about nine and a first down. Trojans need to complete this drive. We've got 7.55 remaining here in the first half. Herb dropping back to pass, bumps into Kerwin, still got it, sets up a screen over here to Kreiser. Jarrett's got it, Jarrett spins away from one man, now he's got all the way down here to the 43-yard line of uh, Williams Valley. Good run that time, Jarrett comes up limping a little bit after that one. Looks like he may have injured himself and Coach Hain looking for a replacement here. And uh, it's going to be Mike Mowry going back in now to replace Jared. Jared, I think, is going to be okay. He just might have got a sh kicked on the shin or something here, but he seems like he's going to be all right. First and 10 for the Trojans on the 43-yard line of Williams Valley. Kerwin in motion. Handoff this time is to Mowry. Mowry gets Mike only a Mowry yard or so as he fights it down to the 42. 27, Justin Miller, Justin Miller comes up and field. makes the stop for the uh, Vikings. And it'll be 
Second down and nine. <clears throat> Not much on that one. Put him down about the 42 yard line. A gain of a yard on the play to be second down for UDA at their 42. Seven minutes, seven seconds remaining in the uh, first half. Second and nine. Pass, Sean looking, Sean dumping one over the middle, incomplete, in and out of the hands of Matt Stone Road. Now uh, why Matt didn't catch that one, I'm not really sure, but uh, Matt unable to hang on to it. Third and nine now for UDA. Third down and nine coming up now for the Trojans. Bobby Kiter checking back into the ball game now to replace uh, Stone Road on this third down and nine. Kerwin coming out of the ball game. Kiter replacing Kerwin, make that. On a third and nine, we'll stay back a little bit, see if the Trojans can get a pass playoff here now to keep this drive alive. Good protection, looking, firing one down the left side. Here it is, complete. Bobby Kiter's got it. Kiter's thrown out of bounds inside the 20 at the 17-yard line. Knights play like uh, that time by that uh, Bobby Kiter making that catch. What a fine pass that time from Sean Herb. Nice pass play. Herb to Kiter. 22 yards it covered. 23 yards. Takes the ball out inside the 20 yard line. That's the Viking. First and 10 for the Trojans on the 19 yard line of uh, Williams Valley. Jeff Miller flanks out on the far side in the slot over there is Denny Lanker. The slot man on this side, Kiter. Fullback is Maury. Lanker in motion on the near side. Up the middle goes uh, Sean Herb. He dives ahead for about five. Down to the 15-yard line. Gain of uh, four make it. It'll be second down and six. Andy Miller checks in with the call as Jeff Miller checks out for UDA. Savage and Shadle making the stop in there for the Vikings. Ball at the Vikings 15. Flanker spread out on both sides this time as Sean Herb sets him up. Sean gives it off over here. Not a Lanker. Lanker trying to Lanker turn this side, but uh, side, nothing doing. He's strung out there very Dunlap. nicely by Dunlap. Also over there, number 21, Matt and Brown. Uh, Brown also helping out on the uh, stop. The string Denny out as he yard. tried to go around the left side, but uh, the Vikings would not we'll allow that. It'll be third and five now. Six line. minutes and four seconds remaining. In the first half, the clock is stopped with the out-of-bounds play. So. <clears throat> Trojans not too interested in the time right now. They're interested in the score, 13-0. Motion is Kiter over on the far side. Back to pass goes Herb. He's looking. He's passing. He's got it complete at the... Er, no, incomplete. I beg your pardon, Andy Miller. Number 11. Unable to bring that pass in. I thought he had it. But uh, goes an incompletion. It'll bring up fourth down and five. And the Trojans faced with a timeout now as Sean's going to have to talk this one over with Coach uh, Hain out here. Find out exactly what we can do to pick up a fourth and six on the 14 yard line. We'll be back after this timeout. We've got a timeout at the. UDA timeout is over, and uh, the Trojans have Jared Kreiser back in at the fullback spot now. He's in there with uh, Kiter and Lanker. This is Lanker in motion. A big third and six. Looking, passing one over the middle. It's complete. Touchdown! Jeff Miller with a touchdown from 13 yards out. And Jeff's got the reception that time on a really quick hitter right over the middle as Jeff cut in from the right side that time and man alive there's the old Jeffer excellent play great call and a super catch and a super pass very very finely executed play that time for the Trojans so the Trojans have climbed back to within seven okay we have Ivan Melo Ivan Melo exchange student from Brazil this is a Brazilian who will attempt the extra point here now and we'll see if Melo can uh, make this Extra point, it will be a vital extra point. Herb will be the holder. Snap is good, oh no, the snap is mishandled. Herbs picks it up, looking for somebody. Can he get it inside? There it is, no, not quite. He's run out of the one. 
All right, so it remains 13-6. Has Sean mishandled the snap? I'm not sure and what's Brown. the matter with that. We've had two mishandled Miller. snaps. The one cost us a possible extra point. The, the other one cost a touchdown for the Vikings. So five minutes, 52 seconds remain here in the first half, and both teams now on the scoreboard. That feels a little bit better. It is 13-6 as the Trojans now trail by seven. And we'll be back with the... That's Kick off by UDA here in just a moment. Competition. The band will be performing at Susquehanna Area High School. <clears throat> Tickets can be purchased from any of the band staff. I think we have a new kicker in there. It's going to be Rob Shell. Robbie Shell, I think it is. That's going to kick off this time for UDA. He's ready. Everyone seems to be Robbie ready. And Shell here we go. Come on, Rob, give it a boot. Ooh, nice kick, high, taken out here at the 23-yard line. Look out, Dunlop all the way out to the midfield stripe almost. Uh, check it, make it the 46-yard line. First and 10 for the Vikings at the Williams Valley 46. Ben Stemacher with a run back. Took it from the 23 to the 46. On a 23-yard run back. And uh, Trojan defense has to dig in now. 5.40 remaining, uh, so if the Trojans could stop them, it is conceivable we'd get the ball back yet in this half and could perhaps do something with it. We'll see. McNeil sets him up. He has different ideas. McNeil pitches it back here to number 27, and man, is he speeding along here. Finally runs into Mari, I believe, out here. But uh, Justin Miller with a fine run that time, and... Uh, Bobby Kiter still down out there for UDA okay, as well Kiter. as number 84, Zelinski. Out there hurt and on that play, slow to get up. Dan Wirtz, the tackle. And we Bobby's have to gonna to come off field. now, but uh, I think he's gonna be okay. His helmet just got a little banged up and we have another injury timeout here now. So uh, we'll be right back. Lycan's very own Matt Zielinski is the injured young Trojan that time. He comes hobbling off the field with some assistance. Uh, okay, we have second and one for I don't know whether now. Matt will be back or not. We'll have to see what uh, Doc Lentz can do for him down there. In the meantime, it's second and one for the Vikings. Back to pass goes McDeal. He's firing him down the right side. He's got a man out there, but it's McDeal's incomplete. Pass. Intended. As the intended receiver that for time number was number 42, 42 Brennan Matt Brennan. But Brennan so was Herb. covered uh, pretty nicely that time incomplete by Herb. Goes as an incompletion. It'll be third and one. Vikings risking not much that time as they have a had a second and one. Elected to go deep. And now they'll come up with a big third and one play, which will be, I'm sure, a uh, <clears throat> running play, a tight one here. So... Trojans can bunch up now. A good defense that time by that Trojan secondary on that play. And we'll see what happens on a third and one. Yeah, on a third and one, Brown has it. He uh, slithers for the first down over the left side over there. I think it was Brown, or was it number? Ball no, it was 41, I believe. Number 41, Mike Paletti. Mike Paletti. Carry. Carried the football that Take time, we think. Vikings I think Mr. Klinger down. really wasn't very sure either, but at any rate, it's a first down now as he gained line. about a yard on the play, and that's about all. Ball at the 43, 44 yard line. Well, and uh, it'll be first and 10 for the Vikings there with uh, 432 first remaining for here in the uh, first half. Here goes that 27 Miller That's around the Miller side over there. And he gains and over there to help several yards. <clears throat> Along with Stone Road and Robbie, uh, Shell. Robbie Shell coming up to make the hit on Miller. Gained about seven on the play, though. Maybe six. What do we see? Ball at the Actually, uh, about six. It's at the 33. About 37-yard line. Yeah, make it the 37-yard line. Sorry about that. Second and four, picked up about six on the play. <clears throat> Quarterback hands it off just at the last minute, and boy, I'll tell you, 35 picked it off right as uh, somebody picked off McNeil. But not until he got the first down on a nice drive again by that Viking back up the... Uh, Number Field he goes, number 35 in there, Brian. making the stop that, or Vikings making the uh, yardage that time for the Vikings. Craig Dunlap. 
And Dunlap done run over a couple of people that time. First and ten. Handoff is to Miller. And Justin busting down to about the 20. One yard line, right. so the Vikings again with a Justin good drive Howard. together here. Again, Driving it down to the UDA 21. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining, so now all of a sudden the, the clock does look important to the Trojans. Trojans. As if we're not going to get it back, let's have the time run out, but plenty of time left. Three and a half minutes for goodness sake. At the 21. Quarterback has it, and coming Thank up to make a nice stop that time is number 20, number 20 um, Denny, Denny Lanker. Comes Walks up to make the yard. stop. Uh, Denny threw him seven. back for a yard. And let's make a loss of two. <clears throat> Ball back Third and seven. Timeout's going to be called right now by the by Vikings. The Vikings. <laughs> so the Vikings have two timeouts remaining. The Trojans like have two timeouts again, remaining. And uh, time our brand new scoreboard this year does show the timeouts remaining. It also shows that there are three minutes and 13 seconds remaining here in the first half. Trojans trailing by seven. 13-6. Last year, the Trojans got blitzed up at Williamstown by a score of 27-7. to So we're looking to improve on that tonight right here at UDA. Boy, good crowd. Ticket booth still open up there. Crowd still coming in here at nearly halftime, but this is probably one of the biggest, well, it will be the biggest crowd we'll have all year, I'm sure of that. People standing around all over the place in this field. All the way around the perimeter. Okay, so anyway, timeout is over. Third down and about seven with 3.13 remaining here in the first half. Vikings with the ball on the UDA 23 and a half yard line, something like that. Two flankers out on the near side of the field for the Vikings, but up the middle goes that uh, number, Mr. let's see. Miller on the carry. Could have been Miller, looked like him. Yeah, it was. Justin Garrett Miller, the workhorse for the Vikings. Gets a couple of yards. Picked up probably four. It'll be fourth in a long two or maybe three. And timeout going to be called again by Williams Valley. They will use their second timeout. And uh, they'll have one remaining. And we'll be right back after this Williams Valley timeout. Okay, the uh, timeout is over. Here we go. And here down. we go on a fourth. Oh, good yardage that time. In fact, he's driving it all the way down Great here to the four-yard line. Justin Miller busting it Inside down to the four. So, boy, they called time. They gave it to their top-notch running back, like Justin Derek Miller. Troy and Miller really to took it all the way down to the four. It'll be first and goal from first the four. First goal well, the Vikings, Vikings looking to get that uh, two Trojan. touchdown lead back again now with 235 remaining in the first half. McNeil handing it off. Miller up the middle. I That's believe it's him. Again. Yeah, he got down to about the two or so. Right, the right side of the Trojan line. Trojans standing uh, there standing him up that time. Maybe gain about two in the play. But it will bring up a second and goal from the two. Barry Kreiser. Boy, I'll tell you. Come on, and Danny. Wirtz. Get in there and Miller. get this guy. Second and goal now. I guess it looks Dan like Wirtz. The two -yard Dan line. Kerwin in there. Beefing up the center of that Trojan line. Hand off again. And this time he has stopped Miller short again. as Try Miller is effort. really uh, stopped very well that time stopped by that Trojan defense. That time that Danny Kerwin, Danny says, come on, boys, I'm showing you how it's done in here. Road. Danny helps to make the stop. Hello, Stone Road, Kreiser, Jared Kreiser, Brent Bell. One yard line. A bunch of Trojans in there making that stop. They're extolling each other out here, trying to get them a big stop here. It's a third and goal, a minute 25 remaining in the half. McNeil hands it off. This time it's 41. He's in for the touchdown. Mike, Mike 
uh, Poletti goes in from about a, a yard and a half, two yards out, and that gives the Vikings the 19th point. So it's now 19 to six, and uh, that came with a minute and 14 remaining here in the first half. So that was a big touchdown for the Vikings and a tough one for the Trojans to uh, give up there that late, but could not stop that um, Miller kid. Pass over in the near side for two. It's good. That's Brown. And so it's now a 21-6 ball game with uh, a minute 14 remaining in the first half. There always seems to be some kind of a thorn in somebody's side, and tonight it's uh, definitely uh, that Miller kid. When they need the big yardage, he's gotten it. And we'll be back with the Williams Valley kickoff in just a second. Okay, Mr. Miller, who does it all for the Vikings, has her teed up again, and he's getting we set for Justin the kick. Miller, Justin off. kicks it over on the, uh, well, about the middle of the field. It's I picked off Lanker. over there by Denny Lanker. Denny still on his feet, dives right. into a pile up here up at the 35-yard line. Looks like it'll be at about the 37, maybe, and first and 10 there for the Trojans. Clock down to a minute and seven remaining here in the first half. Will Sean uh, decide to air it out now? I believe he might. He's got Andy Miller in there. He'll have Jeff Miller, a flanker on the far side of the field, I do believe. Yeah, Jeff Lank's out over there. Mari, Lanker, and uh, Kiter in the backfield. He's going to go back and pass. He's looking. He's still looking. He's firing one over this way. It's tipped by number 35 here of the Vikings. Andy Miller was the intended receiver, but uh, it'll be um, incomplete. Dunlap with the defensive play for the Vikings. Good coverage out there for the Vikes anyway. There was about two or three other Vikings right there with Andy. <clears throat> but to bring up a second and 10, stop the clock with 44 seconds remaining here in the half. Trojans would love to put a long one on here. Let's see if you can get Jeff Miller sprinting down that right side. He's going to pass. He rolls out on the right side, passes one over there. It is complete. He steps out of bounds. That's to Jeff Miller. Jeff's got it at the 49-yard line of UDA. Stop the clock with 37 seconds. So we're in our pro offense now. As time winds down here, Sean going to have to be selective and hit a couple of guys on some uh, sideline patterns, perhaps. Stop that clock and get into position for a uh, touchdown here if we can. Pass again. Good protection. Going deep this time. Got a man down here. Overthrowing number 28, Andy Miller. Matt Brown back in the coverage, but Andy had him beat. It was just that the pass was a little bit too long. Andy was alone out there, but uh, had no chance. Pass about two yards over his head, and so it'll bring up a second and 10 with 30 seconds remaining in the first half. <clears throat> Certainly has not been all Williams Valley the first half, although they've tacked on 21 points, but... Uh, Trojans have shown some chance of uh, getting back into this quick here now. We'll see if we can hit one. Sean back to pass again. He's looking deep down the right side. Passing over there. Incomplete. Pass intended this time for Lanker. And pass is overthrown there just by a little. Sean really floated that ball out there very nicely that time. And Denny unable to bring it in just a tad long. Third and ten. And uh, brings up third down and ten Four. now with 24 seconds. UDA. So if we could get a first down here, uh, we'd be in pretty good shape to throw a couple more passes. But on a big third and ten coming up now, we need to do something on this play. Stone Road, the tight end, in tight this time for the Trojans. And another pass play coming up, I think. Sean getting a big rush, scrambling away over on this side, needs a block or two, and now he gets back to the 50-yard line, and that's about all. Back to the line of scrimmage. It'll bring up a fourth down 
and 10 with uh, f eight seconds, seven seconds, and I don't know, let's see. Timeout called by the Trojans with six seconds left in the first half. Coach Hain gonna come on and Number 30, try to put a little inspiration to the boys here on a final play of the first half. Six seconds remaining on our beautiful new scoreboard. 21-6 is the unbeautiful looking score, but uh, we'll be back. Okay, fourth down and 10. Last play of the first half, probably. Can the Trojans send everybody deep? We'll try it. They line them up. And here we go. Back to pass goes Herb. He's getting a rush, and he's getting thrown down back there, and that'll end the first half. So at the end of the first half, it is the Williams Valley Vikings, 21, and the Upper Dolphin Trojans. Well, the teams are back on the field for the second half uh, meeting out at uh, center of the field. To begin the second half, the Vikings will receive the football. They will be running north to south here at the stadium or from left to right on our screen. As Kerwin and Lanker, the uh, co-captains tonight, meet out there with their peers from the other team, their counterparts. And uh, we will now have the opening kickoff coming up here in just a moment. The Trojans have got to get back into the ball game, trailing by uh, 15 going into the second half of play. So they're going to have to pick up at least 15 unanswered points just to tie the ball game. And we'll see what we can do. The teams as they approach the bench for the second half now, the, Vi the uh, Trojans seem to be just a little more grim, a little more determined, and uh, we'll see if that is the case or not. Robbie Shell will again pick up the duties of kicking off here for UDA, and we're ready to start the second half. See if we can contain that uh, Brown and that Miller. Uh, this uh, half, the Trojans had their hands full with those two guys. That uh, Paletti used to come in there and run a couple of times when uh, they needed a couple of extra yards, and Trojans had their hands full. Here's the kick. It's going to go over to the far side, bounce at the 30, be picked up at the 29, and it looks like it'll be downed and tackled at the 25-yard line. Brennan picked it up for the Vikings. They'll spot it at the 26. Six or seven, something like that. Bruce Nace, <clears throat> on Nace on the tackle for the uh, Vic or for the Trojans that time. <clears throat> First and ten Vikings on about the twenty-six and a half, twenty-seven yard line. We'll call it. McNeil goes to work for the first time in the second half. Pitch back over to that Miller. He spins Miller, around the left side. He's got some yardage. Still on his feet. Breaking free. Coming around this side. Needs a couple of blocks and he'll go all the way. Could not, not get the block Miller, as Andy Miller comes up and makes a good stop. Miller, the Miller, Miller and Lanker, but Andy tonight. Miller making the perhaps touchdown saving Put stop that time as Miller carried it out to the 44. Didn't seem like an awful lot of gain, but boy, I'll tell you that uh, Justin Miller had a lot of room in front of him had uh, Andy Miller not made the stop on him. Wow, that is scary. Opening play of the second half. <clears throat> Trojan defense a little porous again in the first half, giving up 21 points. Here's 41, and that's Mike at Poletti, Mike. and Poletti gains maybe two, and this time he's stopped Mike by the interior Ranger. of that line for the... Second, Trojans coming there. in there and stacking it up quickly Gave that time. Maury and Kerwin, Kreiser. <clears throat> but we need a little more of that. In fact, we need a lot of more of that. It'll be a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven. Vikings had a horrible time last week over at Lion Mountain. Here's uh, McNeil pitching it back to Paletti, swinging around the left side, and he is ringneck to the ground over there as uh, Robbie Shell got a hold of him, threw him down at the 48-yard line. It'll be third down and uh, nearly three. And uh, Trojans faced with another tough one here now on a third and three. Must dig in. Robbie looks like he may have. Had his arm pulled a little bit. He says he's okay. 
And we'll see what the Trojans can do on a defensive third down and three for the Vikings. McNeil's going to pass it. Fires it over here. It is incomplete. McNeil Underthrown. Intended is for number 83. Ball. No. Covering out there is number 32. Bobby Kider was covering on the play for the Trojans, the but the ball two. was passed about a yard or so too short. So it'll bring up fourth and uh, a long two, nearly three. And the Vikings will punt the ball away. Their punter is standing at the 40. That's Matt Brown. He gets a good snap. And he angles the kick over here on the near side. Fair catch called Lanker. for and made by Denny Lanker made at the, the 20 at the or 19 yard, yard line. line. So it'll be first and 10 UDA on the 19. First time the Trojans have touched the football on offense in the second half. And we'll see if Sean Herb can uh, <coughs> see if Sean Herb can get it together now and uh, get a little bit of offense out of this crew. Troop uh, catching the ball for the fair catch. Uh, both I, uh, myself, and Mr. Klinger thought it was Tanya Lanker, but it was uh, Eric Troop. Handoff coming up the middle for a couple of yards out to the 20 yard line goes um, Bobby Kiter. Picked Bobby up Kiter uh, about Aaron. one, actually. It'll be second and nine. Tough yardage now against those. Vikings. Tim Savage, on the Tim Savage out there, big number 73. Along Timmy Savage up the grave. making the stop. Up to Grave in there to help for the Vikes. <clears throat> Tim is a big one. Right in the center of that Viking defensive line. Second down and nine. Wow. Sean still has it, but boy, he's running out of room. As a matter of fact, he's thrown down at the 11-yard line. So things going awry for the Trojans in heaps, uh, leaps and bounds here now. Loss of uh, about seven or so, six on the play. Bring up a third and about 17. Ball way back there now on the 12, actually. They mark it on the 12. <coughs> Crowd over here, very, very quiet right now as they ponder what the Trojans might do with the offense. Herb back to pass from deep in his own end zone. Passes one over in the far side. It's overthrown. That's intended out intended there for Stone, Stone Road. Road. Overthrown by a good Overthrown two or three yards. And uh, that'll bring up a fourth down and 17. Trojans. Trojans will have to punt the ball away. Number 80, Kim Lanschlager going back to punt for the Trojans. Lanschlager going to get a chance at punting. Kim, we watched punt uh, Tuesday Brown, night in the junior varsity football game against the uh, Cardinals of Pine Grove, and Kim did a pretty good job that night. We're going to see if he can get a good one off tonight. He's standing at his one. Whoops, drops that snap, picks it up, drops the football again. Football recovered in there. Well, it doesn't matter William who recovered it at any rate. Kim laying on the ground, very frustrated, I think, now. And it'll be Williams Valley ball, first and 10 on the UDA seven yard lines of the Trojans. Woes just piling up here with eight minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the first half. Williams Valley again knocking on the door, first and 10, the Vikings on the Upper Dolphin seven yard line. First and goal, Williams I Valley should say. Has the ball, first and goal about their seven yard line. McNeil has that Miller in there. Oh, this will be motion this time as 77 the play. jumped the gun here for the Vikings. That'll back it up and make it a first and goal from the 12. The legal procedure will be the call. Offsides against Offsides. the Vikings. It'll be first and goal now from the 12. Oh. First down and goal from the 12. Trojans need to tackle that football. They got to get a stop here somehow or another, if they can. Pitch over there to Miller. He'll try the left side. He is flag thrown down there. A couple flags in the play. In fact, there's a flag back here and a flag over there. Tackle made by Mike Barry. We'll see what some of the calls are here as they sort it out. Officials speaking to with one another right now. Then they will call the respective captains together, I guess. 
Yeah, it's going to be talking to uh, Matt Stone Road of the Trojans. So apparently the penalty, one of them at any rate, is against the Vikings. So the Vikings kind of self-destructing here. Had a golden opportunity with a first and goal on the seven. And uh, now they're going to be backed up even more as this will be a big one all the way back to the tripping will be the call and the ball goes all the way back to the 29 yard line so it'll be first and goal from or rather yeah first and goal from the 29 the vikings are going to make a real chore out of this now <laughs> the first and goal from the seven they're back at the 29. <clears throat> so the vikings We'll see what they can do with it as a center out there. Big number 74 for the Vikes. McNeil will hand it off to Miller. He's going to go on a draw around the left side. And let's see. 34 has got him over there along with number 20, Denny Lanker. And 34 coming up there. I think that might be Chuck Zerby coming up to make uh, the stop for the Trojans. Second and goal now. At Second and goal from the 25. He picked up about uh, five on the play. The second and goal from the <clears throat> 20, just about the 26. He hands it off to Brown. Wow, a good stop that time by Matt Stone Road. Stone Road really come flying in there and took Brown down on the uh, pin. Got a pin out there <laughs> on Matt Brown and uh, set the ball back to the 29-yard line. Lost about four. It'll be third and goal from the 29. So if the Trojans can withstand this blitz right here. We may be able to inspire the offense a little bit, I hope. Six minutes, 15 seconds remaining in a quick third period. Here goes uh, McNeil to pass, fires it low. I don't know what happened McNeil to that. He was getting a big rush that time as uh, Cassidy in there pretty quickly for the Trojans. May have forced McNeil to pass that ball before he was set up Scott and ready. Hall. And uh, we got an injured uh, here, Trojan over here that time. I didn't see that he was even near the play, but timeout called now as one of the Trojans are down. We'll be right back. Bobby Kiter was a man shaking up for the Trojans, but Bob looks okay right now. He seems to be moving pretty good. So I believe Bobby will be back. We'll have a fourth down now and uh, about 29 for the Vikings. So the Trojans should have an opportunity here to get the ball back in pretty good shape uh, barring this particular play. McNeil rolling back, getting a rush, gets McNeil away from a couple of people of and finally tackled back there as Jeff, uh, Jeff Gutoweski come up and grabbed the hold of the shirt the and allowed enough Trojans. time for a couple of other Trojans to come up and put the oh, final pop on him. And so the Trojans will take over now to 28 yard line. So that time the Vikings may have sent a message to the Trojans, I believe as they went from a, on a fourth down and goal from the 31 yard line, allowed the Trojans good field position as a sack took them back to the 34. So it'll be first and 10 for UDA. That should uh, fire up the boys if they think about it. The Vikings apparently feel the Trojan offense is that inept. It's not gonna do much. Pass over in the flat. Jenny Lanker's got it. He's got a few yards. Bumped Lanker. out of bounds over there at the 30. Number four. Matt Walker and uh, or check that the 37 yard line. Four will be second and six. <clears throat> second and six. Good catch that time by Denny. Nice pass out there in the flat to Lanker from uh, Sean Herb. Jeff Miller flanks out on the near side of the field for UDA. Up the middle, diving ahead Kerwin for a couple of yards, goes uh, Richie Kerwin. Rich bounces across the 40-yard line to the 41. Third and two. Trojans positively need this score. Boy, the Vikings squandered one heck of an opportunity. If the Trojans can come back and capitalize now, we'll see what happens. 
Third and a long two, we need this one, badly. He's gonna pass it, Sean with protection. Now it's falling apart back there and he's gonna be tackled at the 35 yard line. As number three, Sean dumped back there as again the uh, offensive line did not give Sean savage. much help and much protection. At first he looked like he might have protection but it broke down quickly and uh, it'll force the Trojans to punt it out of there. Number 41, Jared, Jared Kreiser is going to try the punting the game uh, here right now and see if he can get a good snap. He picks it up off the ground, pops the ball ahead. It's a low snap, uh, picks up down here at the 37-yard line. Brown, Andy Miller in pursuit. Brown gets away from him. Flag in there thrown, and Brown's going to go all the way down the sideline. But I mean, this one's coming back, I do believe. Hold everything. It looks like a touchdown, but there is a flag back here we'll at the 45-yard line of Williams Valley, and I do believe a we clip a is going to be the call. The back official here. is going to pick up the football, and I believe he's going to bring it back. And once again, the Trojans have dodged the bullet here now as clipping will be called. It was away from our camera view, unfortunately. I could only see the flag being thrown in there. I don't believe we picked up the clip. But nevertheless, the ball's going to be brought back. Miller with a heck of a run that time. Traveled about six or 55 yards, but they're going to pick it up. They're going to walk it back. <clears throat> and the cries of homers and all that stuff will come out of the Viking crowd over there, but uh, apparently there was a clip and the Vikings are self-destructing here on their own as the ball now will be spotted all the way back at the 24-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Vikings on their own 24. Well, the Trojans getting some breaks, getting a lot of big breaks here now as the touchdown is called back. <clears throat> Last time with the first and goal from the seven, they screwed themselves around with a couple of big penalties and lost that opportunity, so the Trojan offense would just get going. Got 336, uh, 336 remaining. Back to 25. And here goes that Miller. The workhorse gets a yard or so. Well, about Justin three, Miller actually. Justin looks like he might be favoring a leg a little bit as he gets up Jared that time. Riser. He's going to limp Mike off. Barry. He has played one Take heck of a ball game the for the After Vikings. And uh, I believe he's going to be okay. Mike. Probably just got whacked on that calf muscle or whatever. <clears throat> he did gain three, it'll be third and seven. Third and seven as McNeil sets him up. Hand off and going nowhere that time. Or not much anyway, maybe a yard or so. Craig Dunlap, Craig Dunlap in there for the Vikings. Gained about Barry two Schoen maybe. To make It'll be stop. third down and five. That was and It'll be third down and about uh, long five. Third two do five two minutes and uh, 35 seconds the remaining here in the third quarter. Yard line. Trojans need to stop them right here on a big third and a long five, almost six. Well, they dig in here and can stop them. And uh, timeout called now. Timeout is called by Williams Time Valley. Timeout called by Williams Valley. The, the Vikings just a little bit discombobulated out there, and they're going to call time and try to get it back together. We'll be right back. Two minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the third. Trojans still trailing by 15. It's 21-6, Williams Valley. Well, a big third down and about six now for the Vikings. This is the one the Trojans need defensively. McNeil rushes back. He's going to be tripped McNeil up nicely Lando back there number as number 80. 80 comes up and makes a good stop. That was Kim and that's Kim Ladenschlager coming up from a defensive end spot and making the stop. Making Drops the uh, quarterback well, back McNeil at the 25-yard line. Makes it so it'll be a fourth and nine, and the Trojans should get the ball back in excellent field position Matt now go back to do the as we have... Uh, Back for the Trojans. Kiter and, um, and Eric Troop. Eric Troop. I'd like to see the Trooper get a hold of this one. He is a quickie. Good snap from center. Nice punt coming over this way. Troop. Oh, he's interfered with. Is there a flag? Nope, no flag. I guess he didn't call for 
a uh, fair catch or what? I don't know. Well, Coach Hain is rather Valley irate, back, uh, wondering where the flag was. Williams Valley 45-yard line. No flag on it. I guess Hayes he didn't call back, for uh, a fair catch, so they're just going to rule that he uh, was just another would-be runner or blocker down there, so there's no call. At any rate, Trojans with excellent field position now at the 45-yard line of Williams Valley. And uh, should the Trojan offense begin to click, now would be an excellent spot to have it happen. We're late in the third, a minute and 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Herb setting him up at the 45-yard line of Williams Valley. Handoff, going up the middle. Kyder, nice or Maury, perhaps. Yeah, it was, Mike. That's the best carry of the night for Mike as he got himself six to the... 44, or 39 rather. Five. Actually picked up five down to the 39. Jeff Miller flanks out on the far side of the field for UDA. Hand off up the middle again. Here goes Denny Lanker. And Denny's still on his feet. Down at the 30-yard line, so two excellent runs here by the Trojans. Lanker down, picks up about eight or nine on that play. Brought down by number 30, Dave Mayo. Ball at the just inside the 30-yard line. First down for the Trojans, Trojans so perhaps the offense is going to get it together yet. For Denny Lanker. Clock down to 32 seconds and moving here in the third quarter. So the Trojans will be faced with a big uphill grind to begin the fourth quarter. It'd be nice to see them score here real quick. Hand off up the middle goes uh, Mowry, and boy, Mike Mowry now runs it all the way down to the 12-yard line, first and 10 from the 12, and that may have ended the third period as we've got, well, 15 seconds, uh, maybe play uh, time for another play if they hurry up here. Okay, Trojans taking it to the Vikings up the middle right now with Mowry and Langer doing some fine running. Up the middle, somebody in there in that Trojan offensive line finally moving some people around in there. Time called now as I think we may have run out of time. Yeah, we did. So uh, it'll be the end of the third quarter and the Trojans on the uh, 12. So the Trojans looking good to put some points on the board here to begin period number four. Let's get her going, boys. We'll be back with the fourth and final period here in just one moment. Score with 12 minutes remaining, 21, Williams Valley, UDA, 6. Be back in just one moment with the fourth and final period. Could be a good one. Hang in there. First and 10 from the 12-yard from the line for... No, make it the 17-yard line, I beg your pardon. Here's a handoff and gone up the middle across the 15 is uh, Bobby Kider. He's got carry. a couple of yards, Kyder Bobby getting up a little slowly. Oh, he's Matt okay, Walker. I guess. Matt Came Welker with the stop. He picked up two. It'll be second and eight. Ball now at the 15-yard line. I think I had reported it to be at the 12 when they were down the other end of the field, but uh, check that and make it the 15. Second and eight. Herb handing it off. Going up the middle for a bunch of yardage now and spinning down to about the eight-yard line is, uh, let's see, number 33, Mike Murray. And Mike gaining some good yardage up the middle. Timeout's going to be called now momentarily for a measurement. The ball resting at about the eight Crucial measurement for the Trojans. It would bring up a third down in inches or a first and goal. Looks like it will be third and in inches. And the Trojans will seek the touchdown. Baloney on the first down. We'll go right for the TD here. Sean Herb getting a bit of instructions from Coach Hain here on the sidelines. Okay, I believe he's set. He's got the touchdown play in hand, and we'll see if we can execute it. Oh, 
Virtually every play destined to be a touchdown if everyone does their job. We'll see if they do it this time. Handoff over here to Maori, and Maori struggles ahead. May have got the first down, but boy, it wasn't easy. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you, the Vikings were in there quick. And I believe with the spot out there, it could be a UDA first down. I believe it looks like it is anyway. Are they going to measure it or what? Yeah, I guess they're going to have to measure it again, and I believe he's got it this time looking at it from here. It'll be crucial. It'll bring up a fourth in inches. Or a first and goal. And this time it will be fourth and inches. Though he did not make it. Looks like he got stopped at about the same spot he was last time. So with 10.37 remaining in the ball game, Again, UDA faced with a big fourth, fourth down, down fourth in inches. Down so a big play for the Viking defense as the Viking crowd over here comes alive, exhorting their boys to Put a defensive move on the Trojans. The Trojan side over here, exhorting their guys to at least get a first down here. Will Sean sneak it for the first down? Yeah, he did. Wow. Wow. Close call, believe me. It will be close. It looks to me as though Sean did not make it. If I had to judge it from here, I believe Sean got stacked up and piled up, lifted up, and uh, probably didn't make it. Let's see what they... See, I guess it'll probably take uh, yet another measurement or what? No, nope. again. again, a measurement. And this time it looks like it's even more. Time out for a measurement. Let's see. Oh, he missed it this time by a foot. I Wait thought so. Time. So Williams Valley held. Over. That was a big one. As uh, Brent slide, Bell comes out of the, about the maybe eight ball yard game line for the line. Trojans. That was a killer. Trojans needed that touchdown, could not get it, had two tries to gain about two inches and couldn't make it. And so the ball goes over on downs to the Vikings. First and 10, Williams Valley from the Williams Valley eight. <clears throat> McNeil setting him up. He'll hand it off and oh, he's gonna keep it. McNeil, McNeil up the, the middle. And he's got a lot of running room out here to the 30-yard line, maybe the 28, something like that. On the stop Robbie in there, Shell. I think was Rob Shell, among others. And Mike Mowry. Mike Mowry also, but a big run by the quarterback of the Vikings. Get them way out of trouble that time. McNeil scrambling all the way out to the 29-yard line, first and 10. Good play by Jim McNeil. McNeil up the middle again, and he's got about three or four more. Runs into uh, Richie Kerwin and also, uh, I think, uh, Kreiser helping out to make the stop, finishing him off out here. Second and six, gained four that time, did McNeil, as Dan Kerwin goes in to bolster the middle of that uh, lineup. He will be taking uh, Jeff Godoweski's place. Second down and six. 35 has it, and a bunch of Trojans have him over there. Not Great much on that play. Might have gained a yard. Rich Kerwin, Rich Kerwin coming up also to make a stop. And Greg, uh, Greg Cassidy. Cassidy. On a will be third Maybe a gain five. of one, be third and five. The 35. Eight minutes, 40 seconds remaining here in the ball game. Trojans just having all kinds of trouble trying to contain these Vikings tonight. The Vikings committed a bunch of critical errors themselves, which got themselves in trouble last time they had the ball. But, oh, here's a flag on the play. Thrown over in the far side. We could have a motion penalty. We have a penalty on the play. flag kind of went almost before the uh, quarterback was able to release the ball. So two people may have been in motion. We'll see what they call it. We're going to talk to UDA, so it will be against the Vikings. And this time it will be motion, yeah, against the Vikes. That'll take them back five, and we'll bring up a third down and about nine. 
Tape. Illegal shift, backfield in motion. And so uh, we'll make it third down the Vikings down again nine. Third and nine. messing up here, Ball back giving the Trojans an opportunity. Third and nine. <clears throat> No, oh, here's some motion again. So unbelievable that a team like this is really putting the hurts on the Trojans. When they need the yardage, they seem to get it. And, of course, the Trojans, unable to capitalize last time, really put the hurt on UDA. But uh, Williams Valley messing up again here now, and it'll bring up a fourth or third and 14 now. 7.58. The clock relentlessly ticks away here now, but... Uh, Stop now with the penalty, of course. No, no, they now they started. 25, I believe, 25 yard line. Yeah, now it started. Okay. Ball back at the Williams Valley 25, third and 14. Pitch over on this side. He's got some blocking out in front of him. This is that Paletti, number 41. Paletti. He is grabbed down here by Matt Stone Road as he crosses the, the 40 -yard line, 35 40 out Stone to about Road the 40. Robbie Shell make the tackle. And uh, it'll bring up a first down for the Vikings. That was a big play there on a third down and 14. And ends up a first down play for the Vikings. Vikes really loaded the left side that time. Had a lot of blockers out in front of them, and Paletti covered the yardage necessary for the first down to the Viking 40. <clears throat> first and 10 there, seven minutes, 18 seconds remaining in the ballgame. Handoff is to 30. 30. Craig Dunlap on the carry. Dunlap on the carry. By number 66, Craig Cassidy. Kerwin. Bounces on him last time just to take a little air out of him. <laughs> Cassidy coming out second of the ball eight. game for UDA right at the moment. It is second down and uh, eight picked up two that time. <clears throat> Trojans noted for their defense have been just a little lacking. These two ball games. Now here's a good defensive play though, and as he stacked up by five Trojans, count them. The, Trojan the whole Trojan lineup in there Trojans. have gathered Great him tackle. in, and uh, that'll bring up a third down and uh, about ten. Third and ten for Williams Ball Valley. back nearly at the 40-yard line again, but more importantly, the clock down to six ten and counting. And Paletti coming into the ball game for the Vikings. No, going out. <clears throat> Third and about nine. Pitch over here again. They're loading them up again, but boy, this time the Trojans come right up and nick them down. Knock them down, I mean. Uh, Kim Loudenschlager, Lanker, and uh, Dan Kerwin in on that stop. And Fourth and 12. Now the Trojans, by golly, will get the ball back, back the I do believe. Trojans. Brown back Eric Troop will be back Four along back with uh, Kiter. See him snap this ball over his head. Nope, good snap. And a kick coming back over here. Kiter Troop gets it, or Troop up. has it, picks it up, drops it. The trooper streaking around that right side. A good tackle there, 67. 67. A the Grabs a hold on. There's a flag back here. We Number could have a clip. Generally on a run back, you have a clip or a hold. We'll see and what it is. To get around the left and side. Uh, the ball is let's see here. Placed on the Trojans. Ball will be placed at the 28-yard line of the Trojans, but I'm not sure where the penalty came in. We're going to find out right now. Clipping against the Trojans, and that'll set them back even further. Bring up a first and 10 from way back. The crowd gives them a derisive cheer over there for the officials as finally they okay. say the Trojans are caught doing something illegal. Trojans taking the ball down to the 14. -yard down to line. the 14 goes the ball. Well, and the Trojans will take over there now with just 5.09 remaining in the ball game. <clears throat> crowd slowly but surely starting to leave the ballpark.
Sean Herb sets him up at the 17. And now he's going to be back at the 7. Another good play in there by that uh, Viking defense as they throw Herb all the way back to the 8-yard line. It'll be first, or rather second, and 15. Second down and... About 16. 15, 16, 16, something like that. Well, the Trojans really have a lot of work to do to get it back in shape, I guess. Back to pass goes Herb. He's looking over the middle. Pass is incomplete. Knocked down on a good defensive play out there by that number uh, 11. Pass making a good Miller, defensive play. Andy Miller, the intended 16. receiver. Her back to pass, looking deep. He's going to fire one out here. He's got a man here, but it's a white-shirted man as number 82, 87. Matt Redinger comes up with an interception for the Vikings at the 43-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Vikes on the Trojan 43. First interception of the ball game for either team, I believe. And uh, that came with 3.57 remaining in the contest. And the Vikings, again, given an opportunity to up their 15-point margin as quarterback Jim McNeil checks into the ball game now with the signals from Coach Stauffenberg. And here we go on a first and 10 for the Vikes. Handing it off to Justin Miller, Justin Miller and he doesn't get too much right that time. Side of the Trojan defense. As he might have gained a yard right or so. There by number 33, Mike Mowry, and It'll be second down and nine. One of the few times tonight that the Trojans have been able to contain that Justin Miller. One of the plays, second and nine. <clears throat> second down, nine. Three minutes and five seconds remaining in the ball game. 3.05, and it'll be under three by the time this play gets off. McNeil faked the pitch. McNeil faked Zerby it, faked me tackle. also. Chuck Zerby coming up Jeff and making Godowski the stop for the Trojans, down. along with Jeff Godoweski. Third and nine. Third down and nine. Nothing gained on that play. 2.33 remaining. Third down and nine for the Vikings. This is where they've been able to pick it up when they needed to. We'll see what happens this time. Nope, not this time as he's grabbed in there by Maori and Lanker. Dunlap, carry, uh, Dunlap trying to spin ahead Lanker to get the first down, but Maury. nothing doing. Uh, he got it to the, Vic or to the Trojan 40. So that'll ring up a fourth and eight in a punting situation as Eric Troop and uh, Bobby Kiter go back to receive the punt for UDA. Perhaps the trooper will get one more chance to spring himself loose here. We shall see. <clears throat> High snap, but it's going to be handled, and it's going to be kicked down to Kiter, who made the grabs the ball and has fallen upon it immediately out there at the 14. It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans on their own 14-yard line with just a minute and 33 seconds left in the ballgame. So UDA apparently will go 0-2, and the Vikings will even up their season record at 1-1. Trojans will travel next week to uh, where our home with Newport, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, but at any rate, no easy chore coming up here for the Trojans. They've got to get it together. Herb drifting back over on the left side, looking to pass one. Fires one over there, incomplete. Intended out there for number 42, Richie uh, Kerwin. But too many defenders out there, I believe. So it goes an incompletion. Trojans with a quick huddle up lineup now. Did stop the clock with a minute and eight seconds remaining, but uh, precious few now as Sean sets them up. 
He'll roll out to the right side this time, still on his feet, still has some running room, and he'll go out of bounds at the 25-yard line to stop the clock with a minute and two seconds remaining. That's Ken Shadle. And there is a flag laying down here also, and they're going to talk to the Vikings. Young boy over here at the near the Oh, that does not bode well for UDA. I believe he might be lost if his parents could come and come over here. Penalties against the Trojans. Boyer's parents, please report to the booth area. And it's going to be another big one. It's going to take the Looking. Trojans all the way back to the seven-yard line, bring up a up second and uh, well, no, wait a minute. Now they're bringing it back. They took it to the seven. Now they brought it back. Now, now they're going to bring it back to the 11. Takes the ball back to the <clears> Trojans. <throat> Much better. Line. Second down to about <laughs> 13 at that point. Second and 13 is the uh, play now. Let's see what happens. Sean sets him up with uh, a minute and two remaining. Back to pass he goes, looking over the middle. It is complete out there, and he's That's tackled complete. immediately. Two, is two, number Jeff 22, Miller. Jeff Miller. Timeout called Bob by Gain. the Trojans, and uh, the Trojans gain of about... 10 on the play, or 11 maybe. It'll be third down and two when we come back from this UDA timeout. 53 seconds is all that remains in the ball game. It's 21-6, Williams Valley. Okay, the Trojan timeout is over, and uh, 53 seconds left here. We'll see what we can do with it. Sean going to drop straight back, get in a rush, sets up some kind of a screen, you know, pass over in the far side. And Maori's got it, Please and Mike, Mike goes all the way out here to the, the 30 38. The 37 yard line. It'll be a first down for UDA. Timeout called momentarily while they move Number the sticks. Walker, 42 okay. seconds remaining, and now UDA does call an official timeout. timeout Trojans have Walker one more timeout remaining, and uh, we'll be right back after this timeout. Okay, timeout over, first and 10. Pass on the near side. Over here Back is uh, here Jeff, Jeff Miller. Miller, and Jeff's ridden out of bounds in front of the Trojan bench at the 46 yard line or 7 yard line. line. 36 seven, seconds Brady. remaining. Trojans go for the sideline pattern, and Jeff making a nice catch, and uh, Sean Hurd with another nice pass. The Trojans are going to try to conserve the clock now and see if we can get a few more points on the board and make the score look a little more respectable. Clock stopped with 36 seconds left. Probably be pass, pass, pass. Let's see. Yep, Sean back to pass again. Getting a big rush. Fires one over to the far side. Ooh, man over there, but the wrong man. For Jeff Miller. As uh, number 81, I think Tipped it was. By number 21, or 21, Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Yeah. Jeff Miller, the intended receiver again on that side, and Jeff tried to see how the left side would go. Not too good, and we got 29 seconds remaining. <clears throat> Time for another couple of pass plays. Second and 10, but that's Second and 10 incidental. For the Trojans. This time, Sean's not going to get a chance to pass it off as a big rush Number came in there and threw him down at the 47-yard line of Hubbard Offen. And a uh, final timeout going to be taken now by the Trojans with 15 seconds left. Well, Coach Hain will come in and give him a 15-second play. And that will be it. 15 seconds left, 21-6 the score. Okay, two flankers out on the far side of the field for UDA this time. Shotgun pattern. Uh, and uh, Sean, going to get away from a couple of people. Herb rushing it down this side and runs out of bounds with five seconds remaining down here at the 32. Knocked out. And uh, I'll bring up one more play. 83, Scott So for two years in a row, 
the Vikes will drop the Trojans. Pass down the far side. You got some people out there. Whoa. Incomplete, Incomplete and that does it. The ball game is over. Final score, the Williams Valley Vikings 21 and the UDA Trojans 6. Well, the Trojans will go 0 and 2 and the Vikings even it up at 1 and 1. So um, Dale Callan saying thanks for watching. They will get more pleasant as the time goes on. I am sure of that. Just got to get this team to gel a little bit better, especially um, the offense, the defense, of course, had a lot of problems, but need to get uh, the night. offense on the track here, and we'll be Eagles. back. Catch you later. Line Mountain Eagles, I think he said. Perhaps we play the Eagles next week. I'm not sure, but anyway, okay. disappointing defeat for UDA, like and a very joyful uh, the win the for the Boyer. Viking. But, and you know, somebody got to win, somebody got to lose, and next week it's going to be our turn to win, I believe. Would you please we'll catch you later. Booth area and good night. For your son. May everyone have a safe trip home tonight, and God bless.